Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to use Snowpipe to automatically and continuously load data into Snowflake. The first step is to run a few DDL statements in Snowflake to set up Snowpipe. Over here, you can see the first DDL statement that we are going to run is creating a new stage called Snow Stage in AWS S3. And we're providing the URL and the credentials. The next step then is to define a target table for the data that we want to load continuously. Here I'm creating a table called Snow Table that takes a variant column um, as its input. After that, the next step is to create a, what's called a pipe. And as you can see, the pipe is set to auto ingest equals true, which means that we are using notifications from the S3 bucket into SQS to notify Snowflake about newly arrived data that is ready to load. You can also see that the pipe wraps a familiar copy statement that defines the transformations and the data loading operations that we want to perform on the data as it becomes available. Now that we have created the pipe, let's take a quick look at the target table and you can see there are no rows in the target table. The show pipe command allows you to uh, see all the pipes that you have created. Now let's also run the show stages command. If you look carefully at the show stages command, you will see that there's a new column here called notification channel and it shows you an AWS ARN and in this case, this is the ARN for the SQS queue where we need to send our S3 notifications to. So I'll copy this, uh, this ARN and we will use it in our next step, which is the S3 bucket configuration. Now the next step is to configure notifications for our Amazon S3 bucket. To do that, let's go over into the properties of the bucket to the event notifications and add a notification it's no pipe and subscribe to all the object create events and send the notifications to an SQS queue and the name of the SQS queue is the ARN that we just got from the show stages command. Let's save this. We have one active notification. Jump back here and you can also see that the bucket is currently empty. Now let's define a Kinesis stream as the data source for the continuous load into Snowflake. And the data that we want to send into the stream are tweets uh, from the Twitter sample APIs. Let's call the Kinesis uh, data stream Twitter and use the default values here to create the stream. Let's also define a consumer for this stream. And let's connect the stream to Firehose And let's call this delivery stream Twitter to S3. The source is our Twitter Kinesis stream. Let's go with the defaults here. And the destination is Amazon S3. This is our Snowpipe demo bucket. And let's go with a little bit more aggressive values here and write the results into S3 if the buffer reaches one megabyte in size or every 60 seconds, whichever comes first. And let's use this predefined IAM role for the delivery to Firehouse and create the delivery stream as well. Now we have a Kinesis stream connected to Firehouse and the Firehose points to our S3 bucket with uh, Snowpipe event notifications. Let me st start a data producer to feed the Kinesis stream with tweets. And here I have a little Python program that subscribes to the Twitter APIs and is continuously sending tweets into the Kinesis stream. So as we go over into the S3 management console, and refresh, you can see that the data is arriving in our S3 bucket, and you can see the first files are already landing in S3. Now let's also take a quick look at the continuous loading from a SQL perspective. So here we are back in the Snowflake worksheet, 
and let's start with a simple count statement. Um, and you can see that we already have accumulated 800 tweets in our target table. And let's take a quick look at the shape of the data. And you can see it's following a JSON rendering of the familiar data structure provided by Twitter for their tweets. And if we jump back to our account statement, you can see we have crossed uh, 1,000 tweets already. And um, as, we keep, as we keep running this statement, we can see the count increasing as new data arrives through Kinesis and is being stored in our S3 bucket that we have configured with the Snowpipe auto-ingest notifications. So here we are at 2,500 tweets now. And let me show you a little bit more meaningful query as well. So in this query here, we are looking at time in uh, one minute sized time windows. And for each such time window, we're counting the number of tweets that uh, are tagged with Spanish as the language on the tweet. Let me run that statement for you. You can see here we have these two time windows, these two minutes, and we have seen 180 or 145 um, Spanish tweets in uh, in this, these time windows. And as you accumulate more and more data, you will see more and more time windows show up. So that's a great way for you, for instance, to track trends of your data over time as new data arrives. Snowpipe provides for a serverless data loading experience. That means you don't have to manage capacity or warehouses to uh, load data using uh, Snowpipe. The way that Snowpipe is built is by tracking your uh, load on uh, Snowpipe um, on a per core and per second granularity. And we are showing this uh, in terms of credits that you have used in the account page for billing and usage. And over here, you can see here is a new warehouse called Snowpipe. And uh, it shows in a similar way to other warehouses, the credits that you have consumed for a specific day. You can zoom into individual days to see when uh, you were active on an hourly basis.